Hi, and welcome to Pizza Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. We're getting set up with some uh, new hardware as well as a new version of Camtasia, so if things uh, sound funny, it's because we're still working out the bugs. Yeah. What we're going to show you today is a quick tip on how to animate with the mouse. So let's right click to split the screen and then choose the IPO curve editor. I'm going to hit 1 on the keypad to uh, be looking down the Y axis. Axis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to animate and this be moving along either up and down along the Y or Z or right and left along the X. Uh, the way you do it is inside the IPO curve editor you type control R and then you can select still or play animation. We're going to select still and it airs out and says select one or two channels. Yeah. And uh, since uh, we're going to be moving along the Z and the X, we select those two channels. Hold the shift key when you're multiple selecting. Right. Then do control R and select still. Now at this point you can see when you move the mouse that you're moving your object. That is cool. Cool. And the mouse cursor is replaced with uh, the cursor that shows you what frame you're on, like when you do Alt-A. Right. So right now we're on frame 1. It's not recording yet. In order to make it record, you got to press the control key. Once you press the control key, it's going to start automatically uh, creating keyframes and playing over time. So we're going to go ahead and, and make this uh, move. I'll press control. Make a little stair-stepping motion and then press the uh, left mouse button to confirm well after you're done with the control yeah because I could have kept recording I could have pressed control again and, and continued to, to move it around and uh, I'm going to press the home key so we can get a better look at these curves and you can see sure enough we've got our uh, X and our Y curves and we can drag this over time and you can see the box moving, we'll scroll in a little bit And uh, if I were to press all day, you can watch it going up there. Cool. Now, as usual, now I haven't done a bit on the IPO curve editor, and we're going to save this for another day to go into all the details, but the short version is uh, we can edit these curves. So I'll say select all by typing A, mm -hmm. and then type S to scale, and I'm going to type X to scale on the X axis. And then I'll type G, and I'll just move this over here. And you'll see that when I press Alt-A, now it's a faster motion. Cool! And if we wanted to make it to take smaller steps, uh, we could also go scale S on the Y, scale that down, and G to move it, and Alt-A. Now it's taking tiny little steps. Now, what if you wanted to, to do more than three steps? And say you like these steps. Now, you can go in and edit these curves. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, but let's say you like this this motion. It's kind of organic. Mm -hmm. uh, you can type E, which is extend mode. And we're going to choose cyclic extrapolation. Cycling meaning it's happening going on over and over. In a circle, so it'll never stop. And, uh, and so it keeps going, it repeats itself over and over, and it's extrapolating based on the data that you have. So now, all day, we got our little walking up the steps. Cool. And it sounds cool too. Extrapolation. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next time. Bye.